Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. Today I'm going to be trying a new type of ramen as well as a bonus item. And this ramen is from Nissin Cup Noodles. This is the limited edition breakfast cup noodles. As you can see this is supposed to be flavored with maple syrup, pancake sausage, and eggs. And this is a ramen noodles in sauce, not the soup, a sauce. So you can see this is empty because I have it in a bowl. But this is microwavable. Um, it's not like a paper cup. It's somewhere between paper and, and uh, styrofoam. It's very textured and thick. Um, not exactly sure what it's made of. But the ingredients are microwave right there. Uh, don't pour hot water into this, fill it up to the line, and microwave it for four minutes. Uh, that's the only way to make sure that it becomes a sauce and not a soup. If you just pour hot water into it, it's not going to absorb correctly. Uh, by microwaving it, some of the water is left off as steam, um, so there's less water in the end product. But if you pour hot water over there, you're not going to lose the same amount of water. It's going to be more soupy. You're not going to get the same... Uh, outcome. But this is a limited edition. Uh, similar to their limited edition pumpkin spice, which I've tried before. If you remember in that video, I had a pumpkin spice spam, which I put on it and with some whipped cream, and it was amazing. So what do I have today to add to this breakfast cup robin? Well, a few things, but the bonus thing is this. This is Spam Limited Edition Figgy Pudding. It came out uh, during the 2002-22 holiday season. It is supposed to be Spam seasoned with like Christmassy figgy pudding spices. Uh, it says flavor spice and everything nice. The ingredients are still pretty much the same thing as regular Spam. Pork with ham, sugar salt, potato starch, spices, natural flavoring, all that good stuff. Uh, but the picture looks like a figgy pudding. If you're not familiar with what a real figgy pudding is, it's, uh, I believe it's actually like a meat dish like this. Uh, it actually looks like the picture here is they sliced some spams and then made it into like a, a dish that looks like a, a real figgy pudding. But I think a, a real figgy pudding would be like in a, a container that's kind of shaped like that. Uh, but that sets inside it, and you flip it over and pull it up, and it, uh, it has like a solid uh, structure to it. But we're going to try this Spam Figgy Pudding in the bowl here, which I have in front of me. And I'll show you right here. Here's the Spams. I got two slices that I uh, grilled up on a pan. I got my breakfast noodles. I also have an egg. Put an egg on top of there. There's some cheese on top of the egg. And then I added a little bit of hot sauce and a drizzle of more maple syrup um, that's right on top of everything. But first I'm going to go and just taste a little bit of these noodles that are by the side here. They don't have anything on them. This is just straight out from the cup. Let's give it a taste. It also comes with in the in the cup these little sausage nuggets as well as there's some like eggy bits in here too. Um, other than the egg that I put in here. Let's see if I can grab some. There's like a little bit of an eggy bit. It tastes like egg. The sausagey bits taste like breakfast sausage. The eggy bits taste like eggs. Overall, the general flavor is like a maple sausage flavor. Um, if you were just to eat this by itself, microwave, I think you would find it a very good snack, if not your breakfast. You are already uh, most likely at some point eating uh, sausage and eggs and pancakes for breakfast. If you think of the noodles as just like the starch for the pancakes, you pretty much got yourself a breakfast in a cup. I'm going to go ahead and taste some of the eggy pudding spam. 
our figgy pudding spam. I got eggs on mine. Here we go. Got a slice. As you can see, I seared it. Got a little bit of crust on both sides. Have a taste. Mm. It's got that soft spiced ham flavor. A little crispy on the edge for me, searing it up. Mm. Hold on now. This figgy pudding spam is not bad. It has, truth be told, I don't know if I've ever actually eaten fig pudding, but whatever spice blend is in here, it really balances well with that salty ham flavor that's in here. It's really good. All right, let me break my egg, a little bit of egg, a little bit of cheese, some noodles. I don't know if the pepper camera's picking up all the steam that's going up off of this. Mmm. This is special. All right, I'm gonna cut a little bit of the spam, some of that cheese, some of that egg, all together. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. This is a good breakfast. Get one of these. By itself, you'll enjoy it. Get any kind of meat. Get like a, a slice of ham, a few links of sausage, maybe a slice of bacon or two. Throw that on top of here. Put a, if you have an, an egg to fry up or scramble, put that in there. The slice of American cheese actually goes really well with everything that I'm doing here. Uh, the hot sauce uh, gives it, you know, kicks it up. And you can do or do not with the extra drizzle of maple syrup on here, depending on how uh, sweet you like things. But I think that's, that's really good. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, like another thing that might have been good would be like a, a pat of butter. Like just like maybe half a tablespoon pat of butter thrown in there, mix it up. So like I like my I like my pancakes with a little bit of melted butter on there. When melted butter mixes with maple syrup, I think that's one of the best flavors in the world. Mmm, this is good. A lot of things that I've read, people were saying this was okay, not great, and they like the pumpkin spice better. Um, I'm going to disagree. If it came down to like making a meal out of one of them, this one, I think is much better. It's just the, the different uh, layers of flavor, because you have a mapleiness and you have like this savory sausageness in there um that's by itself if you add like things like more meat more cheese more egg some hot sauce you're layering and building 
and creating a dish which Yeah, I could eat that for breakfast any day of the week, for sure. A nice coffee. Two thumbs up. This is the Nissen Cup Noodles Breakfast Limited Edition flavor with the Hormel Spam Limited Edition Figgy Pudding Spam. Both of those together, bam. Maybe that'll be a thumbnail if, if, if YouTube uh, determines that to be so. Anyway, hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comment section if you've tried either of these Spam or breakfast noodles. Tell me what you thought of either one. What would you put in this that I didn't? Um, maybe you make biscuits and gravy and pour this on top. Who knows? Uh, but I'm looking forward to the next interesting limited edition cup noodle they make as well. Uh, maybe it's, it'll be like a cheeseburger or a pizza or something else that I couldn't even think of or fathom. But this one was good. And I'll see you in the next one. So long. Goodbye.